Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing, uh, I guess it could really be called like the weather or maybe the natural disaster draft. So essentially we are taking players from four teams. It's going to be the Hurricanes, the Lightning, the Flames, and who's the other one? The Avalanche. <laughs> and as we do, let's randomize the team here to find out which team we will be winning the Stanley Cup as. Is it going to be the... Seattle Kraken? Not even close. Buffalo Sabres, but okay. Which draft position will we obtain? Um, it's, better not be in the 20s again. Give me like 12 or something. At least. Oh, we get four. Okay, lovely. Would have loved to have taken Nate Mack, but unfortunately, we cannot. Well, on that note, we can either take Kucherov, um, Victor Hedman, or we could take Vasilevsky. <laughs> and defense wins championships. We've kind of found that out in the past, so... Should I risk it for the biscuit? Probably not, but I'm gonna. Johnny Goudreau being our first pick for players in general feels very weird, but, um, I mean, yeah. I don't think we have much of a choice here. I'm assuming either Landis Cog or Goudreau could play on the right side, or maybe even one of them could play center, who knows. But yeah, let's grab Landy for now. We're taking a lot of pretty big cap hits here to start off, but McDonough plays for the Lightning as well. Good defenseman, and we currently have none of those. So, yeah, that's, uh, guaranteed right there. Kadri from the Avalanche, 4.5 million. I don't even know if I've ever taken him in a draft before, so this is interesting. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Let's go. Another lightning forward, another left winger. But again, I'm just really gonna hope. Yeah, he's left slash right, so we should be okay. Ooh, Mangiapane, 2.4 million at 84 overall. And fantasy hockey, he's on my team. So, you know, that always plays a factor for myself. He is a left winger, but he's left slash right. So, um, yeah, that should work out. I, our whole team's basically going to be left-handers, I'm assuming. Ranta is currently signed to the Hurricanes, and he's only making $2 million. I could also take... Ooh, there's two options here, really. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, I'm going to go with Ranta for now. I mean, I, I'm not going to take Francouz later, I'll tell you that for free, because I'm not having three goalies, but... Yeah, I don't know why I said now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's on the team. Let's... Look for some more players, I suppose. We only have one defenseman. Oh, no. Another left winger, man. Are you kidding me? Whatever. I'm just going to do it. This team is going to be an interesting one. Let's take Kalorn. I love how I said defense wins championships and then fail to take any defense. That cap hit hurts me physically. But I'm still going to take him. Former Toronto Maple Leaf and now Carolina Hurricane, Jake Gardner. Four million is not cheap either, but we don't... You know, we're, we can't be too picky right now. Yan Ruda. 1.3 million. We could use some deals at this point, so yeah, I am definitely making that selection. I am getting very worried. We still have a lot of players to pick up, and I can't find any from these four teams. Matthew Joseph, less than a mil and a right winger. Absolutely cannot go wrong there. Another left winger, another horrible cap hit. Welcome to the team, Lucic. I was actually just about to unironically say this team is going to be a disaster, um, and then I realized, so yeah. I mean, it is, probably. Pat Maroon, finally. I don't even care if he's a left winger again. Doesn't matter. I am taking him. Apparently, Trevor Lewis is playing for the Flames. I had literally no idea, but I'm glad I looked that up. So here we go. Let's draft him as a centerman. Um, we have our wingers now, I suppose. We're all done in that department. We just need two defensemen and two centers, and we don't have a whole lot to choose from. I feel like I've passed this guy a million times, but Backlund for the Calgary Flames. Centerman as well. That cap... Hoyt, but, um, yeah, we don't have a lot of wiggle room right now for players, and I want to put a decent team out there on the ice, so I'm going to try my best to come within the cap, but we will just have to wait and see where that takes us. Another flame centerman, apparently, so there we go, our centers are done, and now we just need two defensemen, and we are good to go. This one turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Jack Johnson with the avalanche, so we are going to fall within the cap, which is nice. However, will our team succeed? That is a very different question. All right, this Andy Walensky guy is signed to the Calgary Flames. He's currently playing for the Stockton Heat, but he is signed to the Flames. So I'm going to count it. There we go. We are finally done. Get me out of here. There is an overlook of the team. Uh, no, I really want to see what the team looks like when I put them together. But yeah, it's probably not going to be great. I'm just seeing if there's any players there that... They might have taken that will try to find their way into the roster like UL Armia. Don't even try it, bud. All right, first and foremost, let's just sim to the regular season and then we will go put the lines together. So, 
yeah, I, I'm very curious to see what the chemistry is going to be like on this team, considering we have seven left wingers, um, but they can definitely play on the right side. All right. So is, oh, yikes. Yoel Armia in here somewhere. It looks like no right now. Wait, what? I just want to best lines. What is all this? No, not scratch player. Head coach preferred lines. Okay. I guess they made a new thing. Yeah, Armia, you got to go, bud. I'm sorry. Milan Lucic needs to come in for you. Boom. There you go. Sorry. And this Bowers lad has to go as well for Richardson. So there you go. That's done. Landy has 84 face-offs. All right, I'm going to try something freaky here. Let's do that. Move back lane into the middle here. I know that he's a centerman as well, but what's his face-offs? Oh, 81. Okay, what about back lane? 80. So they both have good face-offs. Hmm. What about Lewis? 77. So what if I... Hmm. I don't know what to do with this team. It's a mess. Oh my word, even our defense is awful. If we somehow make the playoffs, I am going to be blown away. Absolutely shocked. Well... I don't know what to tell you, but I think this is what I'm running with here. I might actually just move Landeskog up instead of Kadri on the first line and have that be your first line and then have Kadri center the second line. He has 85 faceoffs. Pretty good in the the dot. Mangiapane. Oh man. Yeah. Let's just whatever. Let's just run with it. Whatever happens happens, but I don't think we're making the playoffs, guys. If we do, it's because of this tandem right here. That's our only shot. If things are going really south, then I can't even go do best lines. Well, I mean, I can because I'd have to just send those guys down and then, you know, do it that way, but I don't know. Let's just wait and see where this takes us. All right, you win. Screw this. I'm going to do best lines and send those guys down. So, Armia needs to go down. Yep. If he doesn't clear waivers, then whatever. He cleared waivers apparently and we'll send down shane confirm all right let's go do best lines and see what happens now we got 14 points in 15 games from color that's not bad all right head coach preferred lines all right thanks for that it's gonna be a rough year from the boys that's for sure how why are we doing good all of a sudden what the heck that literally makes no sense i'm gonna say our success just boils down to vasileski not letting in goals that's basically you know what it all eventually boils down to well we had a good little run but we suck again i'm setting us as a buyer even though we are not really in a good position to make the playoffs at all even if we do add somebody but let's see if anyone is here um no no thank you i don't want to trade him all right we're going after rantanen folks actually just kidding i want to find someone that wants our first overall pick and has a good player that we can grab montreal has stamkos and point so that is interesting. Kucherov's trade value is just insanely high. There's no shot we are getting him. And the Jets have... Oh, we could get Sebastian Aho actually. Hmm, him or a pointer. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's maybe try for Sebastian for now. Well, I can basically give you one forward back for this guy. And the question is, who? The trade's approved, but I don't think it'll go through, even though we have Landis Cog in there. I mean, we're getting a two overall bump here from Sebastian Aho, and hopefully he can help us produce some more offense. How many points does he have so far this year? Um, currently has 61 and 63, but he's a dash 10. So clearly the Jets aren't doing very well. Uh, never mind, they're doing good. What the heck? Whatever, I'm going to try this. If it doesn't go through, then we'll go to Montreal. But proposed trade. Uh, oh, Sweeney just a touch. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. These guys want either McDonough or Gardner. I can't really give up a defense unless I get one back. So do you have any defense I can grab? Technically, I could get Ethan Bear. All right, now we're talking. Pointer and Bear for a first McDonough. And what else can I give you? I can give you a forward, but you didn't want any of my forwards, apparently. How's Goudreau doing so far? 49 points? Mmm. I guess. It's not bad. Landis Cog has... 45 points. Let's try it with Palat first and see how that goes down. So Palat, McDonough, and a first for Point and Bear. Probably not going to go through. Isn't sufficient at all. Okay. Nice. Um, uh, we are getting like a very good centerman back. I could give Kadri, but then we're basically gaining three overall on offense. And we are losing four overall on defense but i mean our defense 
We didn't have great chemistry anyway, so maybe he'll come in and make the chemistry better, which will make the team better. Am I giving up too much here? Oh. I don't think it's going to go through, but let's try it. If it does, then whatever. The team's a disaster anyway. If it doesn't, we will go back to getting Sebastian. So, trade rejected. All right. Thanks for making up my mind. So, land is cog, and you wanted it to be sweet and just a touch. So, usually I can add like a fourth, and it'll do that for you. But let's see. Boom. Just a bit low. I guess I can give you a third because it's not like, you know, we have a future here anyway. Boom. Trade accepted. Consider it a done deal. All right. We made a trade, guys. Is it going to make that much of a difference? Unlikely, but whatever. Oh, the first line has plus three chemistry now, though. I do like that. All right. I think it's too far gone at this point, though. Like, we are not making the playoffs. It's just almost a gimme. Uh, maybe could have tried to trade for a defenseman as well, but uh, what it, it is what it is. We need to have a dramatic TSN turning point here, and I just don't foresee that happening. Okay, we win four straight, five straight with Seb. I, okay, I'll take an L. An overtime loss, that's okay. Another win. Do it. You absolute mad lads. That would be insane if we somehow came back and made the playoffs. But I th yeah, we are. We're way too far gone. It's done. There's no way. Even if we win these last three games, which we're not going to. Ah, so close. Well, not really at all, actually. But I mean, you got my hopes up for a minute there. All right, let's stop the simulation. And go check out some things. Yeah, we finished, um, not even close. We, uh, are very short, um, in terms of making the playoffs. In fact, we are 17 points short of making the playoffs. So, yeah, 36, 36, and 10. Where did we finish in the entire league? Let's find out. If I would have made that trade a little bit earlier, I could have maybe changed things. And I don't know. I doubt it. Whatever. 23rd in the league. Not awful. We've definitely finished worse before, so I'll take it. Not one of our better drafts, especially coming off of, I believe, the last draft. We just won the Stanley Cup, so yeah, it's a little bit of a rough go considering, but it is what it is. Um, Sebastian Aho, 85 games, 80 points. And then we got Kadri with 63, Goudreau with 63, Kalorn with 61. We actually got 32 goals out of Kadri too. What the heck? And 35 from Seb. Let's go. Palat put up 22. Kalorn 24. I thought Goudreau would have been scoring more goals. Oh, he's not a sniper. He's a playmaker. All right. Noted for the future. I always remember him being a sniper, but whatever. Okay. There's our entire team. Our goalies, how'd they do? Goalies did good. All right. Our goalies actually did good. They are the only reason we even had a remote chance. Let's have a look at the entire league. Ovechkin put up 111 with 65 tucks for the Calgary Flames. Unbelievable. Patrick Kane, 101. Matthews, 94. So the front page here is definitely stacked. Here's the goalies. If anyone's interested, Grubauer did amazing. Rask with a 923. 46, 19, and 4, and 5 shutouts. Not bad. And I'll just go to defenseman as well if anyone wants to see... The defensive stats, Quinn Hughes leading defenseman this year with 75 points. Thankfully, we can still view lines. So, Ottawa Senators are the winners of the President's Trophy. Let's have a look at their team. So, they have Perron, Suzuki, and Kane. That's an interesting first line. Maybe their chemistry. I wish I'd showed you chemistry. That'd be cool. Arvidsson, Shen, and Ben. Um, Ayafalo, Blackwell, and Bennett. Galchenyuk, Dallin, and Yankowski. All right. Defense, Martinez with Barry. Manson, Merrill, Shattenkirk, Larson. They have a very solid defensive core. I did not mean to go to that. Nor did I mean to go to that. Tuka Rask. Oh, yeah, we saw him. And then Ben Bishop. So they had a very good one-two punch in net as well. Their offense is, like, not the best in the world. But they have a very good defense and goaltending setup. So, yeah, I'm assuming that's probably why they did so well. Well, let's find out who's going to win the Stanley Cup, shall we? The Pity Pens are Stanley Cup champions. All right. Good for them. Let's go have a look at the stats page and we can view their team on there player stats and let's find the pity pens down a little bit where are you at boom they had matthews 94 overall decent blake wheeler put up 81 points he's 88 overall they had jordan stall 75 points 87 overall holy crap uh jason robertson went up to 84 i'm not sure what he is normally dubois at 85 all right, they do have a pretty solid team here. I'll give them that. Yeah, they have a a good team. And Annette Dreger, 84. All right. Uh, okay, I don't know. Yeah, good for them, I guess. They have 
A lot of good players didn't really have the best goaltender set up, but I guess you don't always need it. I mean, it's not like their goalies were bad. It's just they weren't, you know, crazy or anything. So, yeah. Oh, well, they won the cup. Good for them. And we'll go through the trophies here. Did we at least win an individual trophy? Come on. OV with the art and the heart. The Norris goes to Barry. Patty Kane with the Lady Bing. Mercer gets the Calder. Dreger with the Con Smythe. Rask with the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. Zub gets the Masterton. Nemes gets the Jack Adams. Couturier with the Selkie. Ovechkin with the Ted Lindsay. And he's going to get the Richard too. Yeah, of course he is. All right. Playoff tree time. That one didn't exactly go too well. But it is, you know, it, it happens. It absolutely happens. I was going to say it is what it is again. But I'm so tired of hearing myself say that. And I'm sure you're sick and tired of it as well. Anyways, let's shake that one off. And then come back stronger next draft. And see how we do there. And... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I was kind of brainstorming. I had some ideas, but if you guys have comments, then go ahead and leave them below. I will definitely check them out. Be sure to like each other's comments so I know which draft you guys want to see the most. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you hoping. Hoping. I'm just hoping. That's it. I hope you're having a good day or night, whatever it is. And yeah, I just hope you're doing well. I'll see you soon.